गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सिंह सर वेलकम से हो टू आर मोस्ट पॉपुलर यूट्यूब चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस ग्रामर सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर चैप्टर नंबर टेन सब्जेक्ट द भार Let us discuss what is a verb. A verb used for saying something about some person or thing is called a verb. There are three kinds of verb. One is transitive verb. another one is intransitive verb and third one is helping verb so let us discuss bit by bit what is a transitive verb if a verb needs an object to complete the sense it is called a transitive verb i am giving you two or three examples from the transitive verb farmers grow wheat here we see the verb grow takes an object that is wheat the gardener watered the plants here you see the gardener is the subject water is a verb and the plants is the object the word watered it's a verb and it takes an object the plants show the verb water is called a transitive verb lila sang a song there is a verb sang and it takes an object that is a song so the verb sang is called a transitive verb then second point intransitive verb if a verb does not need any object to complete the sense it is called an intransitive verb let me be given you someone or two examples about the transitive verbs birds fly here you see birds it is the subject and fly is the verb there is no object isme koi object nahi hai so we can call this verb fly a transitive intransitive verb dogs bark the verb bark does not need any object so it is called an intransitive verb the sun rose no object is there that's why it is called an intransitive verb then point number 3 helping verb a word which helps the main verb to form a tense is called a helping verb or an auxiliary for example mrs is going home here helping verb is is 
my father will come tomorrow here you see who will is the helping bird dogs were barking in the streets here where is the helping bird anita can solve this problem here you see can is the helping bird let us discuss the double object some transitive verbs have two objects after them these objects are called the direct object and the indirect object how it is possible let us take some examples my father gave me a book here you see my father is a subject gave is the transitive verb me here is the indirect object and a book is the direct object number 2 our teacher taught us english here you see us is the indirect object and english is the direct object mohan sent his brother a gift his brother is the indirect object a gift is the direct object she asked him a question here he means the indirect object and a question is the direct object next example my father bought me a pen here you see means the indirect object and a pen is the direct object noted below important thing to be remember the indirect object always stands first the indirect object always stands first we can put the direct object first but when we have to use a suitable preposition for to from before the indirect object let us take some examples my father gave a book to me here a book is direct object to is the preposition and me is the indirect object the teacher taught english to us here english is the direct object to is the preposition us is the indirect object mohan sent a gift for his brother here a gift is the direct object for preposition his father indirect object she asked a question from him here asked is the transitive verb a question is the direct object from is the preposition him is the indirect object so students let us solve some exercises as well the first exercise set one put the following sentences in the form of a table showing the subject verb indirect object and the direct object separately i wrote him a letter i wrote him a letter here i is the subject wrote the verb him the object a letter 
it is also an object. I is the subject. Root is the verb. And him, it is the indirect object. And a letter is the direct object. Deepak gave me a pen. Here you see, Deepak is the subject, gave verb me, indirect object, a pen, direct object. The teacher will award Mohan a prize. The teacher will award Mohan a prize. Here, you see, the teacher is the subject, our is the verb, Mohan it is indirect object, a prize it is direct object. Then question number four, my brother bought me a shirt, my brother is the subject, brought is the verb, me is the indirect object. A sat is the direct object. Then, question number five. My father sent me a telegram. Subject, my father. Sent is the verb. Me is the indirect object. And a telegram is the direct object. Question number six. She will lend her sister some money. C is the subject, lend is a verb, her sister is the indirect object and some money is the direct object. Then question number 7. I have asked you a question. Here I is the subject, asked is the verb, you has been used as the indirect object and a question has been used as direct object. Question number 8. The principal find him 10 rupees. Here the subject is the principal and find is the verb and him has been used as indirect object and 10 rupees is direct object. Then question number 9. Jane bought her mother some sweets. Jane is the subject. Bought is the verb. Her mother is the indirect object. And some sweets it has been used as the direct object. Question number 10. Tell the student the correct answer. Here, this question is different from others and it's an imperative sentence. And in an imperative sentence, the subject always becomes you. Here, subject is you. Tell is the verb. The students indirect object and direct object is correct answer. It is a direct object. Then set 2. Rewrite the following sentences using the direct object before the indirect object. I shall give you an apple. I shall give you an apple. I shall give an apple to you. I shall give an apple to you. He will bring you a letter. Question number two. He will bring you a letter. Answer. He will bring a letter to you. 
he will bring a letter to you question number 3 they were, they sent the boy a book they sent the boy a book answer they sent a book to the boy they sent a book to the boy question number 4 he did me a wrong he did me a wrong answer he did a wrong to me he did a wrong to me question number 5 they played him a trick they played him a trick answer they played a trick to me they played a trick to me number 6 he left them all his property he left them all his property answer he left all his property to him he left all his property to him the old man told me this story the old man told me this story the old man told this story to me the old man told this story to me question number 8 they lent me 10 rupees they lent me 10 rupees answer they lent 10 rupees to me they lent 10 rupees to me question number 9 show me your new book show me your new book show your new book to me it is the answer show your new book to me question number 10 i told my little brother a story i told my little brother a story answer i told a story to my little brother i told a story to my little brother sure students let us find out the class and if you are satisfied with these teachings give us like comment or share and in my next class i shall discuss chapter number 11 subject the adverb standard for qualified international so students let us find another class wish you all the best thank you